Good afternoon, Master Tanaka. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, friend Elena. I am Master Nara, and when we are here, we are always aware of everything that is being realized through a form of channeling. So, when you are listening to these words, you must also be aware of what you are accomplishing through this way of listening, through the way you are interpreting these words in your beings. What is always put forward is that all of you who are in a process of reincarnation are within a project of living new experiences, are within a project of generating to yourselves the recognition of what you have proposed within a reincarnation plan. What must always be seen is that when the reincarnation plan was carried out by each one of you, there are points where you have predetermined factors. There are also points that are in an orientation for learning. What must always be seen is that when you carried out this plan, you did not have the full awareness that you have in this moment of now. So, that reincarnation plan was carried out through interpretations that you had at that particular moment. But you see, when you are in your life now, inside this body, you are manifesting your consciousness in this matter. You must be observing that everything you think and feel is expressing itself in your life. Because the form of your thought, the form of your feeling, that's what you are determining for yourself in the form of experience. While you live on an incarnate plane and you always interpret that you are independence, you always depend on an outside world. I put again that this is not the truth because every relationship that you live in this given moment is the relationship that you determine for yourself. So remember, all beings that are related to you, all situations that are connected to you, you must understand that it is you who has determined that experience. That being is reflecting is exactly what you wish to experience from you. So with these words, what you come to understand, there is no other as you say in a relationship. That is not that which is determined by the other but there is only that which you yourself have determined. So have this awareness and through this clarity, you are again reshaping your own experiences. Reshape what is called the self-concept because each time you open yourself to allow yourself to change, each time you are aware of this process of change, then you are again guiding your relationships. You are again generating a process of choices, and within this, you are aligning what you say is your desire with what you are determining. So within an embodied plane, through various experiences, what you are accomplishing is becoming more and more skilled in acting through your own free will. And through that, you will be expanding what you call collective consciousness. Because all beings who are incarnated are connected to this collective consciousness. And this form must always be aware because you, through your energy, you, through your intention, generate this process of changes in this consciousness that is part of everyone. So remember that everyone who is here is responsible for everyone. Everyone who is here is responsible for what is manifesting on an earth plane. And through this awareness, you will realize how much the value that is always clarified to each one of you, how much the self-esteem will lead you to an increasingly favorable experience within what you determine. When you are aware of the meaning of a collective, when you really experience this through the acceptance that all beings are one in their truths, Within this is that these truths will become more and more apparent for you to live in the form of experiences. With these words, I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.